All right, I've got UCNC up here. Um, I want to add a new button to this screen in the probe section so that when I calculate this angle here, uh, I can actually save the angle to somewhere where I can use it back in G-code. So to do that, we go into settings, click on edit screen. And we'll move this out of the way so it's not, we can actually see what's happening behind it. Yeah, I didn't want it that big, but there we go. Um, now I want to, what I want to do is have a look at a button that's already got a label that I, lo that I want to use. So I look at the save settings here. And if we look here, the picture number is number 51. That's what we're going to use on our new button. So we don't worry about that. Um, from there, we press shift probe to bring us to the screen we want to get to. Uh, we go to create and delete. I want to create a new button. Uh, and we'll just shrink that size down a bit and I'll place it right here where I want to use it. Then we go into here. Now we can see the button number. There's nothing there at the moment. So what to use a macro with a button, we need to enter a number that corresponds to the macro. So macros need to be between 20,000 and 21,999. So in my particular case, that, that's where I've got it st stored. Uh, and now we want to change the picture. So we, the picture, we know was 51 from before. So apply that setting and you'll notice that it comes up with like a double image. To get rid of that, we go into toggle type, change that to true, apply that setting, and we're all good to go. Only thing we need to do now is actually save it. So we'll save that screen set, close it down, and it's all working. Now to test it, press that. I can see it executed the macro I asked for. At the moment, there's a zero value, so that's what it's done. Um, and it's all good to go.